what's up everybody i hope y'all are well out there i am jaren i am a voice teacher speech trainer and the founder and owner of this marvelous studio the jaren m Lager studio i was planning on doing this video but i got so excited when this popped up on my youtube recommendations page and i'm like oh my gosh i gotta do this video he is such a special talent and i am such a fan of his and i've talked about him several times on tiktok and instagram but i decided to bring it on over to youtube so we're going to talk about him in a minute but before we get to that i want to make sure y'all know that i'm going to start and stop loud while this video is going so if you like starting to stop and talking about things as they happen in the moment then go into this video or click the link below in the description box you can see the whole video in its entirety without me talking but if you're in that kind of stuff and i can like stop and start you don't mind that then stick around because you find the right channel my friend i am so excited for him and all he is doing singing wise it is everything i am so excited to see where this career takes him and i'm excited to talk with him right now so y'all let's get into it here's the voice analysis of malachi singing pa yezu by android weber on britain's got talent focused his articulation is it's not with that slight pucker the corners of the mouth aren't spread or anything everything's very focused here and that's really going to gather the sound and really focus the sound in this classical sort of setting that the song is kind of set in if you will you like that? the U on Yezu, Yezu, there's no diphthong or no Yezu, mm -mm. Yezu, it's that real focused pucker and that really focused sound that he's so good at. I love the fluidity and the freedom that he has. That Quitolis right there was so free in the concert that had just enough friction to where he could bounce up to that high note. Quitolis peccata mundi. And these vowels are so pure. There's no diphthongs, no nothing. Just really focused sound, really pure sound. And even his voice is pure. There's nothing in it. It's just like a pure, rich, lofty tone that he just has. And he hits these high notes so easily. And I just love that about his voice. <laughs> See how much space he had? A lot of times I tell people to take apart the molars or let the molars come apart. Not literally, but just figuratively. So that palate was lifted. And he had that pure sound with the open space. Right up in there, yeah. He has a lot of great control. He really does. And I think what makes him so special to me because I remember being his age and singing like this when I was his age. I remember doing this kind of stuff, you know, and singing soprano in church, singing soprano everywhere else. So when I see him, I get so much joy because I remember being that when I was his age, you know. And I really am happy that he's singing what he loves. He loves what he does. You can tell he loves what he does. And he sounds great doing it. He sounds so good doing it. It's just that pure boy treble, male soprano, sound that he has right there you know and he's 13 so i mean he getting up there a little bit a little bit you know but he still has such control and i'm excited to see as he matures and grows where this voice takes him no matter what he'll sound like you know in 5 10 20 i don't care his voice is going to take him far period and i'm so excited for him <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. On 
Agnus, Agnus, Agnus Dei. This song is basically saying, merciful God, a merciful God, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant them rest. It's a requiem. It's a, you know, a song maybe like for a funeral or whatever the case may be. And I know Angel of Weber dedicated this song to his father after his father passed. He dedicated this work that he made, his requiem, to his father that passed. Um, and so this song is a lamentful song, if you will. So it's that legato, it's that smooth, it's that pure heavenly tone of grant them rest. It is heavenly. Grant them rest, God. You know, they're in your care now. Grant them rest. They're no longer of this world. They're up there. So he's giving all of that legato and all of that feeling, even while he's singing this song and what the song really means and the, the emotion behind the song, if you will. That T, quit. I love that T. It was, and he really shapes his vowels and really knows where he wants to go vowel wise to make the sound work best for him. You know, it's quita. At least it's more so what the word is, but it's quita. He kind of opened up quita. Molas came apart. Quita. So it's really a legato, even in the consonant friction or the sound of the consonants. You know what I'm saying? So there's really a legato in every part of his phonation, articulation, his vocal function or vocal technique here. So smooth how he opens up and that voice just kind of carries he doesn't do a lot of reaching he uh everything is here everything is right there he's using those breathing muscles you can tell his body is upright he's using those breathing muscles to really support what's going on probably some structural muscles in here too Quido. like that yeah so with all of these structures that he's using naturally he's able to hit these notes and go for it and have that pure legato, that pure tone that he has. That ah, uh, that smooth onset. Ah, that really smooth onset, how the vocal folds kind of came together all smooth like that. To do stuff like that, I teach people to sometimes breathe and shape the vowel before you sing it. So almost like I'm breathing in the shape of the vowel. I'm doing everything but phonating. So then when I start phonating, everything's already in place. Versus kind of trying to find it while I'm trying to sing it. If I just shape it there while I'm inhaling, then when the vocal folds come together, I can make the sound happen and it's already right there, you know, versus I gotta reach for it, I gotta find it while I'm singing. You know, this really helps and stuff like that. Shaping that sound before you sing, breathing into the sound, breathing into the shape, that really helps. I don't know if he did that, I think he did that. It looks like he did that, but I'm just saying, sometimes when people have difficulty trying to get more smooth onset, things like that, I tell them, breathe into the sound, open up and breathe and shape the sound before you sing it. So then all you gotta do is put the vocal folds together and then it's there. There's other things that happen with that as well. You know, with how you use your body, your breathing muscles, your air, things like that, but that's one way to think about it. If you enjoyed this analysis, click subscribe down below to click the alert button next to it so you know when the next video is posted. And also, if you enjoyed it, please give this a like and a thumbs up. And before I go, I will always continue to say to you, be vocally bold, creative, and aware, but most of all, be vocally you. All right, y'all, I love you. I'll see y'all soon.